it is one of hockey's longest standing bastions, the state of Minnesota, heartland of America, and home to many hockey teams, but only one NHL squad, and that's the Minnesota Wild. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro will be seen and heard in just moments. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get to see the top team in the Western Conference. It's impressive how they've got. Well, you see how deep the Western Conference is, Doc, and to be sitting on top of everybody else, that's pretty impressive stuff, but they know they cannot lay off the gas pedal at all here with teams chasing them in the Western Conference. Minnesota's consistency is what separates them from everybody else. They find ways to get points even when they don't play their best hockey. That's a sign of experience and a team that is very well coached. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. This man's in goal tonight. The coach's decision made with confidence for the home team. Lavanco's the last line of defense for the Flames. A single shutout looking for another, or at the least, a victory. Terrific action lies ahead. Krejci sent to the big center ice circle for the Wild. Crosby's ready to draw for Calgary. Calgary's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. What a save, considering the shooter that's usually in. Oh, deflected away. Pass attempt to Perry. Puck collected back behind the net by Charm. Looking to Crosby. They've got a two-on-one. One-timer. Lugged along the line. One-timer. Lightning-like save off the one-timer. Moving it to Reeder. No room for a pass. Need to get rid of it. Trying to go to Perry. Minnesota setting things up at center. Hammers one. Remarkable stop. And possession snapped up by Orphan. Oh, here's a wrister. Score! He had that wrist shot ready to go in a perfect scoring area. The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Edzo. Good delivery of the puck beats him on the low stick side. The Flames' lead is now one. Lots of time remaining in this first period and in the rest of the game, of course, to try to build on. And the possession taken by Orpin. Picks it up in his own end. Minnesota's lugging it along in their own end. Zone to zone to Shifley. Play. Pitching it to Palmieri. And he retreats back with the puck. Chipped right back into the opposite corner. Puck played back in the defensive zone by Larson. One timer. Score! Tangay's stick was ready to one-time this puck. It was a perfectly placed pass. Ribeiro's able to clear open ice, and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Calgary's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. It's a pair of goals. Now it's directed to Gabriel. Fires! Great grab! And he holds on. Minnesota's defense hasn't been perfect. They've given up some quality chances, but when you got a goalie behind you with a glove like that, he can bail you out at the perfect time. Beat him on that one. Marched narrowly inside, snapping a pass to Anisimov. Can he generate something? Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Calgary is controlling play now at center ice. Score! He's got his second of the game.
The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. Well, the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. Neutralized face-off win. Flings it. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Pitching this one to Halaschuk. What a ripper! Terrific glove save! Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Fires! Just couldn't find the target. Let's it fly! Puck controlled by Halaschuk. The Flames have it in the defensive zone. Passing one off now to Scheifele. Chip to Orpik. Carries it toward the woodwork. Thrown in. Looks ahead to start something. Directing that one to Nakushkin. Big drive. Save. Good centering pass to the slot. He scores! Just before the period ends. I love watching guys score on the back end. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. The Flames control from the faceoff. It's dumped in. Rolling out of his crease, he's able to stop this one behind the net. First period has come to a close. We'll get a rest, so will the teams. Calgary has built a two-goal lead. All right, let's look at the shots on goal in that period. Six for Calgary, five for the Wild. Minnesota's gotten some momentum and some encouragement by the scoring of this goal. Will it continue? We'll learn that when we come back after these words. Underway in period two. Mashed in. Minnesota's in their own end, carrying it on. In the attacking zone, puck picked up by Chara. Kicked away. Puck is thrown to Perry. Calgary's carrying it up the wing. And he dumps it in. Back in his defensive end to get it. Moves up the side with it now. Lots on that to Reeder. Puck corralled behind the net by Mark. The Flames wheel it up the wing. Dumped in. Steps right behind the net and takes over. And the puck controlled by Perry. Broke it right up. Puck collected by Krejci. Slid to Gabrick. Laid on to Thornton. Shoots one. Picked up in the attacking zone. Outstanding glove save. And he'll cover. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Good clean win on the draw. Rister got that tremendous scoring chance. You can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. Over seven minutes play. Calgary's lead is two, three to one. They win the draw. Shooting. Pass attempt to Nichushkin. Up the wing. Taken away. Calgary's up the wing, setting things up. Thrown in. Played in the corner by Mike Ribeiro. Glides to the safety behind the net.
scooped up by Whiten. Looking to Palmieri. On to Tange. Toward the net. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Minnesota's shifting gears as they travel through center ice. And they've got a three on two here. They can't find the target. Pass cut, strong play. It's dumped in. Moves to the corner. Outstanding play. Shoots. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Not got it all. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. Propelled to Thornton. Up the wing, making some headway. One timer. Remarkable save off that blast. Blockered away. Takes that on his stick and looks ahead. Many yards gained to Connell. The Flames in their own end, controlling play now. Keeps it going in the defensive zone. Neutral zone carry by Marion Gabry. Mashed in. And possession reestablished by Nicholas Cronwall. To Anisimov. Up the wing with it now. And he dumps it in. He can start some danger here. Hammer! Not there! Having a heavy shot like that is great, but you gotta hit the net. Moving it to Anisimov. It's Kitty cornered in. And picked up now by Cronwall. Trying to go to Anisimov. Franks one. And a save. Loose puck taken by Zdeno Chara. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Let's check out the shot board here at the end of two periods. 12 for Calgary and 7 for the Wild. Minnesota's hanging into this game largely on the strength of the man between the pipes. Here is just one of his many saves. Opening face off of the third period has started it. Let's it go. Oh, a tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. One timer. Score! The key to this goal on the one timer hands away from the body and follow through. Enzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. The Flames on the move through center. Dumped in. Possession taken behind the net. Right glove. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. That's such a quick shot. He's able to get his glove on it, though. The shooter is just shaking his head. He can't believe it didn't go in. Calgary's got it again. Fast one right between the circles. One timer. Outstanding save with the glove. Offside stops the clock. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. A little under four minutes play. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. The flames from the neutral zone start to work. Thrown in. That puck curled around behind the net, and it is stopped right there. Pitching it to Nechuskin. Minnesota's on the move through the neutral zone. Drill. Oh! That's a great save by Luongo. Luongo's position was key on that outstanding stop. Right into the slot. Score! Two straight goals.
You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. And so the goalie thinks he's got this puck stopped. Look at how he reacts. He stops so much of it. He thinks it's in his equipment somewhere, but it trickles into the net. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Minnesota's in a hole. They've pulled their starter, hopefully looking to change momentum. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Flames with a center ice face-off win. And now it's directed to Airhoff. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. And play stopped because of an offside. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? And possession snapped up by Krejci. Receives that pass from the other side. Calgary's controlling play now in the defensive zone. It's dumped in. Out of his crease with a big goal stick. The puck stops right there. Snapping a pass to Perry. In neutral ice, he continues. Nice play with the star! David Krejci! You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. And so he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. Minnesota's gotten one here, that's something. But they still have a big hill to climb if they're going to make this respectable. We're in the third period. Possession reestablished by Orphan. Pitching this one to Palmieri. Puck fired down, decision made, defenders first. Isaac. Thornton's had an outstanding season. Every time it seems he gets a chance to score, he's able to finish it. And that's all with being the focus of the other team. Just a bit under nine minutes, still showing on the clock this period. A four-goal lead recently became a three. I wonder if complacency set in here. The Connell. Collins, known to be a goal scorer, has not found the back of the net yet. His team is down. Oh, and here's a three on two. Score! They struck back fast, didn't they? Palmieri's skating ability got him to the high slot. He was ready with a stick on the ice and one timed it into the back of the net. Tangy's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Chip to Garbage. Shoots gloved. Gets play stopped. Rene's aware that they want to shoot upstairs on him. He stays on his feet long enough before he makes an excellent stop. Minnesota's got a face-off win. Passing one off now to Halaschuk. Perfect passing right through center. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. Calgary's in possession in their own end. Puck controlled by Halaschuk. Directing that one to Garbutt. Mashed in. Rene's back behind his net and is able to stop it right there. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Puck is thrown to Halaschuk. It's a three on two as they move in. Marvelous save by Luongo. Luongo's looking awfully confident after that. He's free, but will it last? Huge stop by Rene. Pass attempt to King. Approaching the final minute in this game. Looking to Thornton. Moves up along the boards. Chris shot. A shot blocked away. And that one went out of play over the glass. A souvenir for some young fan. Rene's positioning is perfect here. He can make that glove stop all day long.
Calgary's got that win. Great glove grab. And a whistle. Whoa, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. Big face-off win. Let's go, Arister. Oh, here's Arister. Shoots, locked away. Strength and support by the Flames. Missed the net. Why isn't he shooting? Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. That's one way to stop the momentum. Cover the puck and get a whistle. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really difficult stop for the goaltender to make. The Flames win that faceoff. Oh, accidentally blocked. Let's it fly. Oh, what a grab. Green A's cat-like reflexes put to work on that great chance. What a glove hand. Good faceoff win. That hits somebody. Rister. Give that goalie credit for another. DeReeder moves it to the shadow of the boards. Shoots. Deflected off the blocker. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. If you're here to watch physical hockey, well, there you go. The game is over. The Flames took this game by a wide margin. It's not just the score that had a wide margin. The coach has to be extremely happy with all the shots that were taken to give them this lead tonight. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.